Okay, welcome to Zephyr Family. Today we're going to be doing an experiment called the Black Sugar Snake. Um, okay, I'm going to be using sand, powdered sugar, and baking soda. In a cup. And we're going to be using lighter fluid. That's why we need an adult a cup. for this experiment. And a cup. And we're going to be mixing powdered sugar and baking soda. And yes. I'm going to put it in here. Four tablespoons yeah, of, four uh, of powdered sugar and one this? tablespoon of baking soda. Can I put this? Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to mix it with the sugar. And then we have to mix this really well. And then we put in lighter fluid and the sand. And now that the sand is wet, we're going to put this in. Okay. Right on top in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna light it up. But make sure that an adult does it for you. Okay, let's do this. Check this out. It is still so big. Guys, there's still fire. A little bit. Inside of it. There might be. So, Zach, why is it black? It's not black. I don't know. Because it's a sugar black snake. Sugar black snake. That's the name. Yeah, when sugar burns, it caramelizes, and that's why it's black. Yeah. And do you know why it grows? So when the baking soda is heated to a specific temperature, like in this case, the carbon dioxide gas, gas is created. Can you smell it? The carbon dioxide? Yeah, it doesn't smell too good. <laughs> yeah, and, the, and, and gas releases, so it goes away. And the pressure created from the release of the carbon dioxide ga gas uh, causes the sugar snake to grow. So the gas goes away and it creates pressure and that's why the sugar burns and it grows. So the inside, is it like clear or... Check it out. Can I poke in here? Can I poke Yes, go oh, ahead. Inside. Yeah, watch out, it's hot. So you still have all the sand here, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye. And also make sure to leave your like and subscribe. Peace out. Woo!